Hi there, uh, I wanted to show you how to do this. Um, to make a SOAP request with Postman, um, I'm following this Postman's uh, blog here. Um, you can see the URL um, right there. Still can't, still can't see the full one, but uh, title of the article is Making Soap Request with Postman by Joyce, April 2020. Um, and I'm just going to go through this example. Um, so I'll go to Postman here and just open a new tab. And so what we're going to do is um, we're going to have our request. We're going to set it to post. And we're going to go and grab this URL that we're going to use and paste it in there. And um, I'm going to remove this uh, enter because I think that was causing me a problem. <coughs> um, you can see by the little, the little, um, yeah, there was like a little arrow there that showed that there was a return, a new line. Um, but anyway, um, back to the, the instructions. Um, we'll go here and we'll set it to post and then we're going to go to the body uh, section here and we're going to set it to raw um, and do XML. And when we go back to headers, we're going to see that we have this uh, content length. Or, no, what was it? It should be a content type. Um, should show up after we select uh, the correct. Uh, oh, we, we have to go and paste in the XML here first, I believe. Uh, select XML. Yeah. So if we go and take this example body here that we got from the blog, we'll copy that, um, paste it in, and uh, now when we go back to headers, we have the content content type is uh, added for us automatically. Um, for this particular example, we're going to make a new key. Um, oops. Uh, I override something there. Content type. Uh, ours is going to be equal to text slash XML, and we see the suggestions pop up down there. Messed up there. Okay. <laughs> And we got that, and um, it's going to this this la last one that we added is going to override the auto added one, which we can see if we hover over this. It says this is a duplicate header, and we'll be overridden. So um, yeah, that's going to get overridden, and then. Uh, if we can uh, go in, we just have that body that we uh, copied, and we're just going to paste it in, which we already did actually in the earlier step. And now we just have to click send, and we should go and get our um, SOAP response down here. And you can see this one where I accidentally hit enter earlier. It says server was unable to process. And so when, when this succeeds, we should get like um, the Celsius uh, temperature back. So we hit this, and then there we go. Fahrenheit to Celsius result. So that's how you do that uh, SOAP request in um, Postman.